Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland and this is going to be a Let Me Bore You to Sleep session. So I've done a few of these. I think I've done about 48. Maybe it's 43. 40? It's over 40. Anyway. Not quite sure what I'm doing with this hat. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm not sure if this really suits me. I'll get rid of that. So, only listen to this or watch this when you can safely close your eyes. And the idea is that I just talk about nothing for maybe half an hour, maybe. 35 minutes, maybe even an hour. It's hard to keep track of the time because I don't have the time on the phone, not on the screen as I'm talking. So it's just me and uh, a can of Coke and my voice and that's it and my glasses and my hair and it really is a case of me just talking and I know it might seem a bit unusual it might be a little bit different from what you're used to it might be a little bit different from what you're used to seeing me do if you've watched me before but it really is the whole idea is for me just to be boring and I know that not everybody is going to want to watch this live because you might be in the middle of a tennis match or uh, flying a plane or something like that. So, you know, turn it off and wait until you're able to safely close your eyes and want to sleep. Okay, so this isn't really a hypnosis session. I'm not going to be trying to... Uh, I'm not going to be telling you what to do, not that I really do that anyway. So, I've been told that the head, the, the volume isn't massively big. If I try it without the microphone. So, can you hear me better now? Is it a better sound now without the mic, without the, the headphones in? Just to ask, it's a, I've got a couple of people watching and somebody just said that the sound wasn't as good. Uh, so if you can let me know if you can hear me okay, that'd be good. I just don't want to get too close to the, to the camera because I don't think it's fair on those people watching to have a really close look it's kind of it's a bit too close isn't it not much hello see I don't want to be taught I don't want to shout because that that I suppose it's because I've got a soft voice anyway unless let's try it another way Let me see, here's another way of doing it. I could talk, it's a bit closer, so I could talk to you that way, and it's a bit closer to my mouth. So, to John, can you hear? Is my voice closer now? Closer? More? 
if you did get anything closer, well, I'll try and move the camera back. Sorry about that. So as far as the sound, uh, I've got the microphone, which is close to my mouth. So are you able to hear me okay? It's better. Okay. Thank you. So... I mean, it's it's not it's not ideal, but at the moment I don't have a laptop, and this is the only way that I can make recordings. And I've got no way of editing really to make it louder. Uh, it's a shame because I'd quite like to improve the sound, like make the sound louder. But iPhones are not. They're quite good for picture quality, but not very good for the sound, unless you have the microphone in your mouth, pretty much. So, I will continue anyway, but it's going to be... Perhaps if I could do that, have a way of... Uh, an idea is that quite clear can you hear me okay now seems like I can leave my <laughs> I know it looks a bit weird but um, it's fairly close to my mouth now does that sound okay and maybe if I try and hide this so it's not quite as obvious <laughs> that's it Right, see, I've got my own. I've nothing if not creative. So that's quite close. Does it sound okay? It might look silly, but I'm okay with that. I'm used to looking silly. So is the sound okay? Can you hear me fine? And this is a message to John, because everybody else that's come on here has gone away. You look like a Star Trek hypnotist. I am a Star Trek hypnotist. But can you hear me? Okay, that's the main question. Do I sound uh, loud enough? And I don't care. I'm quite happy to stand and sit like this for the next 40 minutes. Um, I'm guessing, John, that you're saying yes, but maybe it's just because having me <laughs> sitting like this with the microphone hanging from my glasses is a little bit silly. But it's okay because these sessions aren't supposed to be serious. And which is fine. So only listen to this or watch this when you can safely close your eyes and when you're ready to be bored because that's what these sessions are for and I'd like to say uh, a big thank you to Ian who uh, is a fan of the Let Me Bore You To Sleep sessions and sent me a lovely message earlier uh, which I did reply so thank you very much uh john says i've done a lot worse my friend yep so have i as well i think sitting here with a iphone dangling from my glasses is one of the least weird things that i've done i need to find some kind of microphone that fits, you know, a decent microphone for the iPhone. I'm going to have to go online and search for that. I might look for that later. But at the moment, uh, at the moment I'll just make do with what I've got. It's okay. So, um, what was I going to say? I've no idea what I was going to say. It's just me talking about nothing that's what these 
sessions are about. It's distracting me. This is very distracting. And this does show my determination to make a session though, doesn't it? That I'm willing to go to the lengths of... Look, look at that. It's like some food, some chocolate that I can just about get to, but I can't. So, so thanks, John. John says, great to see me live again. Yep, I'm still alive. Um, I did a live session the other day, the other night, but it was on YouTube, and then I deleted it. But I thought I'd do a live session on Facebook because I haven't done one for quite a while I think a way of drinking this I'm probably the only person on the planet that can take the iPhone which is one of the most high-tech pieces of equipment and make it look like a some kind of uh, the equivalent of two yogurt pots and a bit of string so this is kind of what I made it look like it's uh, I'd be surprised if Apple don't sue me <laughs> you know for using their equipment incorrectly. But they'll have fun with that if they do try. So I've been had a, a lot of flies in my flat the last few days. I don't know why. They just uh, arrived. So James has arrived on the scene. Hi James. I like it when I see people that I haven't spoken to for a while and uh, that I know that you watch my videos or listen to my stuff so that's nice uh, this is a let me bore you to sleep and it's just me talking that's all it is So let's see, what did you say? So, John says, uh, it would be very unfair on Andre if you did that to him with cheese on it. It would very much. So Fiona's just joined. Hi, Fiona. And she's just left. Oh, she's back again. So f thank you for watching. This is, this was supposed to be a Let Me Bore You to Sleep live but it seems to be turning into a, well, a me sitting there with a, a microphone dangling off of there because it wasn't loud enough the way it was. So um, I'm not quite sure what's happening. But I've got John, James and Fiona that have joined. What is that? Is that a clap? I can't, my eyesight. Oh, that is a clap, thank you. Is that a clap? The, the, um, not igloo, what do they call them? Emo things. John says, you are so funny, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm funniest when I don't mean to be. It's, uh, what happened is when I was younger, I used to say things of all seriousness and people would be laughing at me so I tried to uh, start making stuff up so they'd laugh with me oh it's a wave all oh, right it's a wave uh, oh, okay cool it's it's I'm looking at a tiny little screen don't forget it's so I can't I can't see it very well it's I mean I can't even read Excuse me. I can't even read the writing very well. 
I can read it just about, but I kind of need to take my glasses off. But um, so Boston Chicky is in the house as well. Hi, Boston Chicky. Uh, Andrea. Um, so this is quite nice. I've got four people that I've spoken to before. Uh, you hit the wrong emoji. Hey, Jason. Hi. Thanks, James Dean. Who's, who's James Dean? So I've got four people. That's So that's, that's quite cool. You know, I'd rather have four people that I've spoke to before than have a hundred people that I haven't. And that's a lie, because I'd rather have a hundred people. <laughs> um, Andrea says, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. Um, had a bit of a weird weekend. On Sunday, I got an email telling me that my email address had been hacked and they demanded a ransom or they would uh, share all my personal information, credit card numbers, transactions, passwords and everything to whoever. Uh, so I kind of had a little bit of a... Um, a weird couple of days. I should just leave it at that, but yeah. James Dean is Polish. James Dean was Polish. Oh. I didn't call the police. It was online. I'm trying to find somewhere that I can send the thingy. Send send the email to. So Nola. Hi Nola. It's just joined. Thanks for joining. Uh this is a let me bore you to sleep, but it seems to have turned into, um, I'm not sure what it is now. It's probably still boring, but it might not be a sleep session as much. But I do have, really, when I, when I do the let me bore you to sleep sessions, I'm pretty much talking often about my life. And about stuff that maybe I find interesting. And then uh, it's just boring for other people. Andrew says, the police. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'll look into it. I'm looking into it at the moment. Well, not right now because I'm using the phone. But the end result was I don't have a laptop anymore. And I deleted my podcast. I basically deleted anything that was connected to that email address. James says he'll be back soon. Okay, James. See you soon. I don't know how long I'll be on here for. But I clearly can't... I can't really do a session with this thing hanging down. The... I was hoping that it'd be loud enough. I don't see... It's, uh, Jason, you can reset your computer to factory. Yeah, there is no computer anymore, unfortunately. Uh, it's called Jason Chats on a Long Winter's Night. Yeah, I should call it Jason Chats. I should change the title from Let Me Bore You to Sleep to... It's. I suppose everything I do is kind of boring, so it's still all boring, isn't it? It's still me just talking, but it's more interactive, kind of, because... I'm interacting, I suppose. But I, um, yeah, it's just been a weird couple of days. I went online, did a bit of research, found out that the same email had been sent out to other people, threatening them with the same thing, word for word, the same email. So I just, I guess I just got, I was affected by it. But yeah, so I was off Facebook for a couple of days. Now I'm back. And thanks, Andrea. Glad you're back. I'm back. As Eminem says, I'm back. Or someone said that. Or was that Terminator? Uh, YouTube, better sound anyways. You're fine. So YouTube's a better sound. 
Oh. The thing is, when I go on YouTube, I don't... It's hard to... You know, I'll be talking to myself for a... It kind of works both ways. I know that it's pe I haven't got many subscribers on YouTube due to the amount of different channels I've had and, you know. But the I'll be on YouTube sometimes and I'll just have one person listening or watching. But then I come onto Facebook and I'll have loads of people come and go. So I might have over the period, if I'm on here for an hour, I'll probably have like over a hundred, maybe 150 people come and go during that time. But if I leave the video, if I do it on YouTube and leave it on there, I'll there'll be people afterwards will come on and watch it. So it's you know I was trying to get a setup so I could do both at the same time. But I want it, I do want it to be, I mean, for me, sound is more important than the video picture, really. I mean, this is how I look, isn't it? So this is, this is it, but it's, I'd like, it's not that I want the sound to be loud. I just want it to be a good volume. So Sebastian is watching. And there's a picture. Oh, Sebastian has changed his picture. So I was... Uh, and Sebastian, let's keep our conversation private, please. What we were talking about earlier. <laughs> As uh, last time I spoke to Sebastian, he put my telephone number on here. It was, on, was it on YouTube? Or I don't know where it was, but... Naughty boy. No wonder I'm getting hacked. Hacked off. Fiona McLean. I've never watched you on YouTube, but I think the sound is great on here. Oh, thank you. Um, the problem is, I've got... Apparently, when I had it like normal, it was the sound was too quiet. But now I've got it like this, you can hear me, but this is a bit constrictive, you know what I mean? It's a new way to hypnotise people, or an old way, I suppose, isn't it? Okay, so let's have a look. I'm missing some of the messages. Well, thanks you, thank you, Fiona. Um, Andrea, I want to hear about this private conversation. No, you don't. Also, Uncle JJ, if you don't show your face, yeah, any sign of me. So John Kelly is talking to Sebastian. Um, Sebastian says, with that voice, women will have the wildest fantasies about how... Oh, okay, thanks. So basically what Sebastian's saying is, if you couldn't see me, then people would think that I was physically attractive if you just had the voice and you didn't. Th thank you. Thank you, Sebastian, for that. That's very, very uh, warming my soul. John says you are like a singer of the Band-Aid 1984. Well, there was a lot of singers in that Band-Aid. So which which one? George Michael. Yeah, I've always thought I look a bit like George Michael. And Sebastian says his new picture is his new guru style. Well, I can only see a tiny little picture because again I'm on my phone, and it looks a bit. Um, yeah, it it looks very kind of guru-y, if there is such a word. Andrea says, so basically Seb is saying, you're beautiful on the inside. Uh, I can hear you laughing saying that. 
me too jason john john says me too so um i think i'd rather be beautiful on the outside if i'm honest uh Sebastian says, no, Andy, I'm saying he has an immense sexy voice. Yeah, Andrew, I can actually imagine you laughing. I can visualise it. Yeah. What's up with your kitchen? Have you finished it yet? I can imagine you, your husky Boston voice. And Sebastian... I do wonder what you do when you're listening to me. Just, just wonder. I've Skyped with uh, Sebastian a few times. Never get to see more than, never go below, below his neck. Never goes below his neck, the picture. Um, so Andrea says the kitchen's nearly done. So she's in the middle of doing a kitchen. So Andrea Dematia is uh or is it Dematia is from Boston. She's a Bostonian. Sebastian is from Germany. Nobody expects a disheveled mid fifty uncle behind that voice. I wish Sebastian keeps saying this to people about me being elderly and in my late fifty I'm forty eight. 48, I'm not in mid, oh, blah, blah, blah. mid 50s, I'm 48. John Kelly says, beautiful on the outside and ugly on the inside. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather, I suppose, I'd rather be passable <laughs> on both, like even it out, be passable on the outside. And So, um, John is from Ireland. You know what, John, even if, just from your name, even if you didn't tell me you were from Ireland, I'd have guessed. I might not have guessed. Well, I would have guessed right, but I would have guessed just because I, I got family. My uh, my rel my grandmother's my grandmother was Irish. Her parents were Irish, and uh, so she was Irish, wasn't she? Really, but she's also in English as well. She cause she lived here, and. So I'm uh, kind of I I guess that makes my grand my father half Irish, and makes me quarter Irish. I don't know which quarter, which part. I'd have guessed you're Irish too, says Sebastian. Ah, I think that was to you, John. Fiona McLean's from Scotland. Yee, I think, you know, Fiona, my 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 dad got into Ancestry. You know the Ancestry.com? He got into it long before the internet. He, he really got into it proper. Uh, and apparently, Newland, my surname, it comes from Scotland. So the um, my ancestors from my granddad's side are from Scotland. So basically, I've got a Celtic both sides Scotland and Ireland of Celtic uh, origins but there's um, yeah so my very very distant relatives were from Scotland uh, John Kelly says John says my mother called Jason my mother is English yeah the um, I got a friend who has he had a he has is English mother and Irish dad. So he used to. He just classes himself as. Irish, I think. I never. Yeah. Andrea says I uploaded the updates on my kitchen when you have. I uploaded the updates on my kitchen when you have time. You can look. Um. I don't think that's exciting as you think it is. <laughs> it's just pictures of a kitchen. No, I'm I'm really pleased for you. I'm, I know that it's especially if you've gone a long time without a kitchen and you've been living. Um, I remember when I was a kid, my 
my dad was a um my dad was basically did everything he was a tradesman so he could he, he was continuously rebuilding the house so if a if a kitchen needed to be put in he'd do it himself and it could be a bit um annoying when you have to go through that period where you're not able to eat you know, can't cook anything so right now we've got things like Greg's but we didn't used to have that back then uh, and uh, John Kelly cool name Newland yeah. Newland I say Newland and everyone corrects me saying oh Newland uh, Sebastian calls me Newland for some reason Fiona says my ancestry is Normandy my maiden name is Percy okay I It's hard. I don't remember. All, all I know is my dad found a place in Scotland called Newland. It's like a, I don't know. He's he's. I don't know how they did it back then. They traced things through old records and marriage stuff and whatever. Probably the same they do now, but it was. Excuse me, it was, uh, I just did a burp then. And uh, he started to get interested in it again. I suppose it's a lot easier now with the internet. It's just, just fun. I have done some searching for like, some of my family, but it's not as, I don't know, I don't find it very easy. So Andrea and uh, Andrea's calling Sebastian a jerk. It's a bit cruel. Sebastian says, You know, Newland, with the mic attached to your glasses, you might attach a little plastic parrot onto your glasses too. This won't happen again. This is a one-off. Enjoy it while you can. I will not go on camera looking like this again. Newland, says Andrea. People love Simon. It's new. I even I went and collected my um, my prescription today from Boots, and they said, "Yeah, what's your name?" It said Jason Newland. And she looked. She's like, "Is it? There used to be a program on telly. Anyone from England would know this program. Um, what was it called? But the woman in it used to call herself Bouquet." instead of bucket and I sometimes feel like I'm being like that but I'm not I'm just telling people what my name is and also the reason I say new land when I say it is because I want people to know my website address and I'm kind of pronouncing it but anyway hello to Dortha and to Rick thank you for watching this is uh, just a chat really it seems among friends. John says, My mother was born in England around the time of the Blitz. My grandmother was working at a munitions factory. My grandmother worked at a munitions factory as well. I think she lived... Well, she was in London somewhere. Um, and that was the thing. Is You know, when the men, men were out at war, uh, that's... It was the women had to run the country pretty much and do everything and make you know make the weapons and as well as everything else that goes with looking after the place so yeah it was amazing um sebastian <laughs> that's my history lesson on the war oh clearly the war one of the wars. Sebastian, ooh, JJ, I just got called Burnett in a reply to a comment of mine on YouTube. I meant... Oh, I know someone whose last name is Jokic, with an AJ, but in the automated system, I pronounce... It pronounces last name as Jokic. It's not bad. Oh, Jokic... I'm being slow when I 
You can see, you can actually see from my eyes the slowness between reading it and... Oh yeah, jock itch. See, I really am that slow. <laughs> it's not an act. Oh, also itchy. Hmm. I got no idea what time it is. What's the time where you are? What's the time in Scotland? So I know because that's the same time as here. I think Germany is one hour ahead. Boston is probably about seven hours ahead or six hours ahead or six hours behind. Ireland, same time as here. J Sebastian says, Jason, or JJ, get yourself a little tool that reads out the messages to you aloud. I don't know such a thing. I didn't know such a thing existed. Fiona says it's 9.36. Oh, uh, 7.36. Cool. So what? Anyone know how long I've been on here for? Andrea, it's two thirty. It's 237pm. Well, we clearly have a different time scale. 237. Uh, Sebastian, we have 8.37pm here. John Kelly, 9, 7.37. So... Does anyone know how long I've been on here for? Linda C. Lee is watching as well. Hi, Linda. This is just me and my friends just chatting. I could put someone on here to talk, couldn't I? Ah. 21 minutes, it's saying right up here. 21 minutes. It feels like about an hour. It's got to be longer than 21 minutes. Someone's got angry. Someone just leave an angry. Is that you? Who left an angry little message, an angry thingy? On about 20 minutes. You know what? When I'm just talking absolute rubbish, I mean more than this, you know, when it's just me on my own, just rabbiting, an hour goes by pretty quickly. Ah. So, 37 minutes, Fiona. I believe Fiona. Who's leaving all those weird, angry things? Jay, so Andrea, Jay, yes. Is that you? Andrea, you're leaving all those... So when I finish here, I'm going to look and there's going to be all these angry, angry emojis. You're angry. Just kidding. You're not angry. Good. Because if you really want to get me back, send me more pictures of your kitchen. If you want to punish me. <laughs> yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Every now and then, I forget that this thing is hanging from my glasses. I do, I just, I'm reading the things that people are writing down and I just feel like a normal human being and then I look up at the screen and I see myself. It's like my glasses has just sneezed. There's a big bit of white snot just hanging down. Please do a lot of live streaming in the winter, Jason. So says John. I suppose I could if... It's just I'm concerned about the sound. I'd like to do more. I'd like to do it on here as well, on Facebook, because it's, it's a nice and easy. But I need to find a way of... I don't want to do it with this thing off my glasses like that, you know? It's Andre's coming down. Do you, does anyone want to see Andre? I'll see if I can grab him and let you see him. Wait a sec. You don't want to see what he's doing right now. I just looked over and he's, uh, yeah, it wasn't nice what he was just doing there. Oh, there you go. Oh, I can turn up the volume to an app on my phone anyway. All oh, right. Oh. I can still smell his, uh, what he's just done. 
but it's all right. I'll still give him a hug. Do you want to? Is he asleep? I think he's asleep. Look at is he, he hasn't even got his eyes open. So Andrew's gonna send me more kitchen pics. His response to that. Um John's he said he was licking his balls. No, he wasn't licking his balls, he just did a big poo. And then climbed out of the basically I looked over and I just saw the his rear end you know, doing what he does. And then he climbed out and he wiped his ass across the carpet. Which is disgusting. Yet funny at the same time. Oh, is he awake? So he's not just starting his day. He's... What on earth's going on? He hasn't just started his day. He's been he he basically is awake and asleep all day long and all night long. So he's so he's now white. He's probably licking my finger to get rid of the taste of where he's previously been licking, which is uh, grim. He's uh, Andrew says more interested in my kitchen adventures. You don't mean that at all, do you? But. Uh, I'll agree with you. Now, kitchen adventures are great. But Andre is... Uh, he sleeps all day and he sleeps all night and he's awake through different parts. He sleeps about... Six hours... He probably sleeps probably about 16, 18 hours a day. So Sebastian says, like father, like son, is it... The sleeping all day or what he's been doing with his tongue. That sort of makes me... So I don't sleep all the time. Sebastian says, or rather like, farter like son. So ba no, we're not doing kisses because there's people watching and they, I've just told them what you've been up to. Yes, I have. Andrea's is teasing as usual. Do you want to say hello to everyone? No, no kissing. Sorry, I know you want to kiss, but just, do you want to say hello? Look. Say hello to everybody. Hello. It's a great picture, isn't it? I've only, I've got the light on, so it should be a good picture of him. But, go. Hey. Hey. It's nearly time for him to have his dinner. I normally get his dinner by now, but he was asleep, so I didn't bother him. Sebastian says, now I mean the filthy non-house brokenness. I don't, I'll let you know, I'm quite well house trained. John says, I wish I could sleep like that. I don't think you'd fit in his cage. The hammock's not that big. But I imagine it's quite comfy. He seems to be happy with it. He's half, look, he's, he's practically asleep. He's asleep, he's, he's gone. <laughs> he's never more than about two seconds away from being fast asleep. Yeah, he does. He wants me to put him down. He can sleep in my arms. There you go. You can go to sleep. You want to get down. He wants to get down. Say goodbye to everyone then. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you, bye-bye. John Kelly says, uh, you'll be surprised where I'd fit, Jason. Oh dear. Um, hopefully I won't be surprised anytime soon. <laughs> Andrew says see ya. So it's uh, 
Oh, we wanted to go and have some water. So I'm trying to figure out why there's so many flies in here. There's a good 20 flies in this room. So Jason's saying, good to see you. Oh, Andrea's saying, good to see you. Okay, Andrea. See you, Boston. Uh, see you later. Uh, Fiona, he is cute. Oh, thank you. I, he is the love of my life. It's ridiculous. I fell in love with a ferret, a little ferret. And he's had him since he was about six weeks old. And he was tiny. Absolutely I could fit him in my hand and it was just the tiniest little thing and he didn't like me at all he kept trying to bite me like really and he did bite me really hard but so it took a while to get him used to me but then uh, my first memory that he actually I thought he liked me was I was sitting in my chair watching I don't know what it was a Saturday night I was watching telly or a film I had a can of lager on the side and I had my dressing gown on and it was in the I got him in September, probably the end of September and this was probably November time could have been October, I don't know but he climbed up my leg and he climbed up my the sleeve of my dressing gown on the left hand side of me and he went to sleep and for the rest of the evening, I was every time I needed to go to the toilet or went into the kitchen to get another can of lager, I was holding my arm like that so that it didn't fall out because I didn't want him to go. I wanted him to stay at my sleeve forever because I just I felt like um, he loved me. You know, it's a bit it's a bit weird, but um, ever since then we've been just really close. And he, used to, he did it for ages. You know, every night he'd do it, climb and climb and climb up my sleeve. But then he got too big for that. He doesn't doesn't do that anymore. And he likes to do his own thing anyway. But he still still have lots of cuddles. He clings to me when I'm around other people. John Kelly says bye. As, um, when he's Sebastian says, oh dear. It's not the words he used. I can't upload a picture into the chat. Well, that's probably good for everybody. John says, the flies like Andre's poo, I guess. Well, that's the thing. He's been pooing. I've got places where he poos, or he's got places. He, he told me where he wanted to poo, and I have to, uh, you know, pretty much sort that out for him. But I accommodate his requirements never had a problem with flies and he's been with me for over three years I had the occasional two or three flies maybe in the summer but to have this many flies never had this many flies ever so I don't know what's going on and so I'm, I've missed a few messages uh, Sebastian says I had such a laugh about those videos every time we went oh and he bit you yeah, I wish I had those videos. The, again, with so much of my stuff, they've gone. I'd love to have a video of him when he was little. Uh, I think there might be a couple of videos on my website, Jason Chat videos, when he was fairly little. I think there's one where he's eating a banana or something. Uh, and Sebastian says, I just did a lovely love... So yeah, he just did a screenshot of me and Andre. So Sebastian has got into this new software, picture software, and he did a, or video software, he did, he did a video, didn't you, of me, and basically it was just a nose with a bit of a face, it's basically just, um, believe it or not, he made my nose bigger than it is already, and I was singing a song. So in one of my Let Me Bore You To Sleep sessions, I went through the alphabet and he edited it so that I was spelling out rude words. Uh, the the term too much time on your hands uh, does come to mind. That must, have that must have taken 
ages to do. It's a professional video editing and compositing software, Sebastian says. Perhaps you can make me a video. When I get back on the horse, so Cassie Carter, hi Cassie, welcome to this um, thing that we're doing. It's just a few of us just chatting. Um, that's it really. Uh, yeah, so some people come, some people go. It's very, I feel like a priest. Be quite good at sermons, I think. Yeah, a bit of mix of cliches. Meaningful things that aren't really meaningful, but they sound meaningful. Sebastian, I will make you a video worse than the other one. I don't want you to make bad videos. Do you not understand? <sighs> Kel John says, did you ever take a benzo? No. Um, I'll be honest with you, John. If you'd have offered me a thousand pounds to guess what your next question would be, I wouldn't have guessed that. Sebastian, maybe I will use full sentences you've said or... Well, to be fair, I have probably... Since 2006, uh, I've got about 800 audio sessions and four, 450 videos or whatever. There's probably quite a lot of sentences that I've said that you could put together and make me sound... Uh, however you wanted to make me sound, I guess. Cassie Carter says, Hello, Jason. Your hypnosis videos helped me tons on YouTube. That's how I found you on here. Oh, thank you. Um, so do you use the... You go onto my YouTube channel that's here now. That bleh, Reword that. Do you... Do you is it the, the the latest YouTube channel or is it previous YouTube channels so I have got links to my Facebook page but I've had so many channels over the years Sebastian says ah bloody Nora he's always swearing I wonder if it's the weird thing about it is I've spoken to Sebastian on Skype and he doesn't swear doesn't swear when he talks but he just does it when he types it's like he's got like finger Tourette's kind of he can't you know when he's talking he's fine but when he types he's just just can't hold it in gone now because I copied something else into the RAM I don't want to hear what you're getting up to with RAMs uh, bad luck sorry that's okay uh, Sebastian um, I'm just happy to hear you say sorry and for whatever reason, just it's good. It's good. It's good to acknowledge that you're sorry for whatever it is you're sorry for, and I applaud the sentiment. <sighs> so this John, you'd you'd like me to do more of these? So I don't know. It's oh, previous videos. Okay. Hi Jennifer Perrin, hi, welcome to this thing that we're doing. Um, so Cassie, what any videos that you liked? <laughs> I don't know. I never know what what to do. What to thing is sometimes because I've been doing this forever. And you can imagine there's people, there's like 13 year olds walking around that weren't alive when I started doing this online. There's 20, 20 year olds that weren't alive when I started doing hypnosis. It's, you know, and I get very little feedback. But 
Um, when I do get feedback, it's nice if, it, if people like what I do. I had a really lovely message today from a man called Ian, and it was very heartwarming. Now, I don't use that term freely, not free. I'm not saying that I'm being forced to use that term, but I don't use it often. Um, but it was a lovely message. And I've just got another lovely message here. So John says, it's my child, it's my field, I built it with my bare hands. Is that from a field of dreams? Cassie says, you helped me to create cutting with a video. Hope you don't mind me reading this out. It's, everyone can see what you've typed anyway. But I don't want to, but um, I requested then and then you did it. So you requested a video and I stopped for eight years now thanks to your video. Thank you. Oh, that's... That's beautiful, and you know what? In reality, if I, I just to think that someone's hurting themselves, and I, I really don't like the idea of people suffering, and I, I know that I'm not the only one. You know, I'm, I'm sure most people don't, but. There's just, this I don't know, just something, I just, I want to help, but I want to reach out, but it's, it's not always known how to. Does that make sense? It's, because we're all so, everyone's so, um, everything's personal to us. And it's hard, I've been trying to reach a broad spectrum of people and trying to make my sessions so that although I want them to be personal I have to I make them personal as far as I include myself in them and just try and be me as you realize this is me this is what I'm like when I make videos and have done for whatever how I many long time that I've done it I don't put on a, a pretend facade of being some kind of wonderful therapist or anything I'm just but the intention is to help but it's it's quite a difficult one to to balance trying to be personal but at the same time trying to make it as vague as possible so I can help as many people as possible but Cassie I really appreciate your kind words there um seriously it's and it's, it's brilliant you've made my day you've made my day you're the second person to make my day um and fiona says ian is my husband i guessed that by the surname i guessed it but i didn't want to say anything because i just i didn't feel it was my place just to say and that was fiona's husband that sent me that you know sebastian has sent something i don't know what that <sighs> okay he sent part of my telephone number for some reason you me and sebastian have got this relationship where he just keeps trying to wind me up for some reason we're like two little kids sometimes just pushing each you know just poking each other it's uh but anyway cassie i really appreciate it. and um I'm still here, I'm still here for you, I'm still making stuff, still making videos, still making mp3s, not really gone anywhere, I do have a tendency of deleting my stuff and then re-uploading it, um, but on my website, jasonnewland.com, everything up to today or up to last week is on there, all the videos you can download and all the mp3s you can download and it's all free. So, Sebastian says, oh, I did not write that. Yes, you did. John Howe. Hi, John. Thanks for joining. I think we've we spoke before, haven't we? And John Kelly says, it's the field. Um, so I'm a little bit slow on on reading the messages because I keep talking. But you should all know that I talking is the one thing I can do. 
not much good at anything else, but not much good at talking, but I will talk forever and ever about nothing. Cassie says, it helped me tons. I'm in Canada, so I think you're, you have helped reach, reached far. Thank you. As, uh, if I ever come on tour, I have this little dream. It's a, it's a delusional, but I have this little dream that one day I'll, I'll reach a, a broad, I've already got a broad audience, I just like, or a wide audience, I just like to have a, perhaps a larger audience maybe, and I can go on tour and maybe visit Canada, and visit America, visit Australia, New Zealand, the places, South Africa, places where I know that I've got a, a collection of people that like, or have liked what I've done. Um, so maybe one day, Cassie, Maybe we'll meet one day, or if ever you're in England, let me know. You can buy me a coffee. In fact, you could buy me a meal. Really expensive dinner. That's what I like. I like I like free food. John Kelly says, "Would you be a counsellor, Jason?" Well, I actually am a counsellor. I'm a qualified counsellor. I trained as a person centred counsellor for two years, and I did a degree in counselling for three years so the person I did so basically I got a diploma in counselling after the second year third year was a degree I did three years full time from 2007 to 2010 so I'm a qualified counsellor and I worked as a counsellor for a few years as well I just haven't done it you know recently if that makes sense Sebastian says, and to be really honest, I'd like to dole out, but one time Jason pokes it back, I go into toddler mode, and wow, 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 you know, that is true, he like, he does, he likes to dole it out to me, but if I, sometimes I, I'm not flippant, but I'll, I'll, perhaps I'm in the middle of something, and I'll just post something, and he'll, he'll get upset, but I don't, I never mean to, I don't, I can honestly say, and I'm not out of pride or how wonderful I am, but I don't aim to hurt people because I don't like being hurt. Does that make sense? I don't like because I, I suppose I, I don't like being criticised. So I don't think anybody does. I imagine no one does. So I try not to do it to other people, but sure I still do at times, but I don't mean to. We are very mismatched, flawed pals. Everyone's flawed, don't they? Uh, Cassie says, thank you again. Thank you. Um, well, stay in touch. I'm, I'm on Facebook, so I'm always here if you need to chat or anything. I'm around. I am a, I am, I'm not just around. I'm also round. Yes, I'm a round, round person. I'm very... <sighs> this microphone. Sebastian says, we are very mis... Uh, John Kelly says you're looking at X Factor. You're looking at X Factor, Jason. What you think? Yeah, I'm watching X Factor. I'm. I'll be honest with you. I watched the live show on Saturday night. No, it was and Sunday, and I watched the live winner where they kick a couple of people off, and I couldn't even tell you who they kicked off. I don't know what I was doing at the time, but. I just zoned out. I lost interest, and I couldn't tell you who who got kicked off. That's how much interest I had. It's weird, um, but I still watch it. I like Dalton. Dalton, if if you've if you're not watched the X Factor, if you're not in the UK or whatever, go put in X Factor UK 2018 and Dalton D A L T O N. And they'll show his auditions or they'll show him uh, during his live session. And he has got the most beautiful voice. You know, um, absolutely beautiful voice. That's that's all I say. So uh, Cassie says, that would be awesome. I was just there this past summer and three years ago. You could have you could have come and bought me lunch. Oh. That's another free dinner that's gone by. I love free food. Well, let me know next time you're here. And I'll you can buy me food. Or give me food free. Has to be free. 
I actually met up with someone that I used to, that I've known for a long, long time, since 2006. And I've been speaking to her on the phone all this time, but not met up with her for a long time. So it's, what, 12 years or 11 years since I last saw her. We met up and she said, I'll take you to lunch. I said, oh, good. She only wanted to take me to McDonald's. I said, no, 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 no. I said, this has been 12 years. If I'm buying the food, we'll go to McDonald's. You're buying the food. I want a proper plate. I want a restaurant. So, yeah, we went to a restaurant. The ironic thing is I ended up ordering a burger, which wasn't what I was going to buy, but they didn't have much of a selection because it was lunchtime. It was either that or like a cheese baguette or, you know, or the S word, salad. So John says, I'll go with you, Jason. I could be your bodyguard if you go traveling. Well, I think we should all go. I hope that I don't need a bodyguard, but, you know, who knows? Um... Oh, John Kelly, you must have gone away because now you're watching again. So we should all go together, like on a big... You could be my groupie. Cassie said... Cassie, like, thank you, Cassie. Sebastian says, yes, I wanted to say just that we are all flawed. He's going back to a conversation from about an hour ago. <sighs> Did it take you that long to think of a response? We're all flawed, and as for the comment thing... Make yourself five minutes out of talk and then one to two minutes of catching up on comic. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, that's a good point. I'm very slow on catching up. I'm not used to doing this. This is new to me. <sighs> um, Cassie said I will. So Cassie, that's a date then. So you're going to buy me dinner at some point. Uh, and John says... You were tired, Jason. You looked into that video before you went looking at X Factor. Yeah, I was, I was tired watching it. And Cassie says, we will take you to Long White Cloud on Hackney Road for breakfast. One Long White Cloud on Hackney Road? Is that Hackney Road as in Hackney, East London? Or is that Hackney Road in... Uh, Canada. Do you have polar bears near where you live? See, I've caught up. See, Sebastian, so I do, I've got caught up. If I ever get a sizable amount of money, again, Jason, I will visit you and then I will take you on to a fancy trip to Leeds. Um, I've never heard that those two sentences go together. A fancy trip to Leeds. I don't know. I don't know if it, there's anywhere that's. I mean, I'm sure it's. I've no. Not. I don't think I've been there. But a fancy trip. What's a fancy trip? Um, so Cassie says yes. Uh, East London and no polar bears, only grizzly bears. Oh really? I come. I thought Canada had. Um, uh, grizzly bears. I thought Canada. I thought you had them all running around and stuff. And that is based on television shows. Sophie is watching. Now Andre sounds like he's about to fart. Andre, I can't believe he does stuff like that when I'm on on a video. Hello, Sophie. How you doing? You alright? Grizzly Adams. John says. We're both showing our ages that we both know what that is. That was a great show, that was. I loved that. I think it's the beard. He was... Grizzly Adams was the most handsome man with a beard that ever existed. He was, he was just... He was just this beautiful big man with a beard. It was weird. He used to be on TV when I was a kid. He was, uh, he had the kindest eyes, didn't he? He was just so lovely. Um, and he used to have a bear. So, I think if he'd been called Grizzly Adams and he didn't have a bear with him, 
I don't think he'd have, people would want to go near him. Cassie says, ha ha, no we don't live in igloos either. You don't? Oh, okay. No, I, d I didn't think that you lived in igloos. I didn't think you didn't. I wasn't sure. I wasn't going to ask. Um, <laughs> no, I just, I see, I thought that Canada had lots of polar bears. Because it's really cold and it's got snow everywhere. I don't mean maybe all year round, but during the... Yeah, definitely. I've dreamt about it. I'm sure there's... Oh, I've got... I'm, I've got 20% battery remaining. So that's good news for you. We'll be ending this scene. Sebastian says, A trip when you'll end up with a free shirt depicting... I'm not going to read the end of that. Sebastian, isn't that something? John, yes, I love it too, Jason. And Lee Majors. So you got Lee Majors. you got... Obviously, the bionic man or six million dollar man, but then you've got um, the fall guy. You know, remember, I am the unknown Trump man that makes this wood look so fine. That one. Canada is. See, Sebastian swearing again, Mr. Sweary Man. Canada is awesome. You guys just legalized it. So, Canada is so. Awesome. I think Canada's always been legal. You can't legalise your own country. Uh, so Cassie, yeah, I know. I'm just, I'm just laughing. We do up north, but not in British Columbia or most of our provinces. To be fair, though, Cassie, I think if you've, if you came from Canada, Canada, as I like to call it, to to England. You probably had ideas of what England is like, especially East End. If you went to Hackney, you probably thought it was, uh, was it like Mary Poppins, you know, the chimney sweeper. And you've got chimney sweeps dancing on rooftops and stuff like that. It's not like that anymore. It hasn't been like that since about 95. So, yeah, a lot of things have changed. So maybe Canada, the... The polar bears aren't around anymore, like they used to be. Um, James is back. Hi, James. How you doing, Sophie? This is really weird. So I've got all these people that some people that I've spoken to before. Lots of. See, it looks like I've only got three people, but I know I've got more than three people watching. Cassie says, "No, I didn't." I thought it was more Spice World movie. Really? Wow. So you watched the Spice Girl movie and you thought you got inspired to spend all that money on travelling to England. Wow. Wow. I don't think anywhere is like a Spice World movie. It's... Mind you, you might see a couple of Spice Girls working in one of the cafes in the East End. At five and came at 25. Wow, so you were five when a Spice World movie came out. Blimey. And you've got family here as well. Well, you got um. This is a an East Ender um, reference, but have you got any family that work in a pub? Maybe in the East End. Maybe the Queen Vic, Cassie Carter. I mean, this the Carter name. Sebastian OJ. I need to disagree, by the way, about my swearing and blah. Can't bother to read the rest of that. And we are talking about last year here. Blah, 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 blah. John, do you ever look... Do you look at EastEnders? I do. I used to be an EastEnder. And I used to live in the East End for 12 years. I first moved there when I was... 
what was I, 18 or no, 19. And I moved away when I was 31. So yeah, 12 years. So pretty much the whole of my 20s, I lived in East London. I lived in Stratford. I lived in West Ham. I lived in East Ham. I lived in, where else did I live? Leighton, Leightonstone and Forest Gate. So I kind of, it's all kind of within the same area. Um, Cassie says, I love the East End. It's a nice place to visit, but so is an abattoir. No, that's, that's, a, that's a bad, no, abattoirs aren't nice to visit. But you know what I mean, somewhere that, um, living somewhere and visiting somewhere, I don't, it's, it's changed a lot though since I was lived there because I moved away from London, yeah, in 2001. Um, and a lot's changed because where I lived, that's it was all quite rough and nothing probably changed for the last 50 years. Everything was the same. And then the, uh, what is it, the Olympic Stadium started to get built. And then things started to change. The property went up in values. Um, people that could have, people that, wanted to get out of that area because it was a bit rubbish could afford to get out because suddenly their houses were worth more so a house that maybe bought for £15,000 from the council is now worth maybe two hundred and fifty grand, so they could move and go somewhere that they wanted to live and then the only people that could afford to move in were those people with money and um, so it kind of it's changed a fair bit but I visited not a while ago, not long ago, and it's still the same, really. Once you get away from the the stadium area, it's the same houses. It looks pretty much exactly the same. They didn't knock all the houses down and rebuild houses. It's just the same. It's uh, it's an it's an okay area. I lived there for a long time. I didn't mind it. Cassie says I live in Vancouver, BC which isn't much different, busy, fast pace. Yeah, London is very busy. John says, did you live far from where the Quay twins, Quay, Cray twins grew up? So they were in Bethnal Green. So, yeah, it's a distance. I mean, if you go to Bethnal Green, from Stratford, you can walk all the way down to Mile End, under the Mile End or the Bow flyover. Uh, and that's where the Bow Bells Church, the Bow Bells sort of ring. Apparently a proper East Ender if you're born within hearing distance of the Bow Bells or something. Uh, and then you can get to Bethnal Green. I think Bethnal Green was once two stops. So from Stratford train station tube, if I'm correct, Mile End and then Bethnal Green. Those are the two stops. Uh, so it's not far. And... Um, but I never met them. Sebastian says, Now then, Uncle JJ, rejoice for I have to leave. I will watch the rest of this later. Well, it's coming to the end anyway. Um, love you too, Sebastian. Don't call me a disheveled elderly, a disheveled elderly man. Disheveled, fair enough. Elderly. And I do take, you know, I do question the man part not the most manly person so hmm John says okay thanks Jason so I'm bringing this to a close uh, thank you everybody for joining don't know when the next one's going to be this wasn't supposed to be it just happened um, Cassie says ha ha thank you <laughs> Cassie's laughing at Sebastian and uh, I don't know when I the thing is, I've got this thing hanging down. Like, I, again, I just noticed it. I can't do videos like this. This is just silly. Um, so bye, bye, Cassie. I'm gonna, let's have a look. Fiona says, hopefully soon this has been... Hopefully, yeah. 
thank you, Fiona. I'll I'll try and get back. I don't know. It's 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 kind of mood dependent, as it were. But it's it's also because people live in different parts of the world. It's sort of trying to find a, a good time that fits everybody. And clearly, this wasn't a let me bore you to sleep because although it might be boring, it was not. Um, it was an interactive thing, so I have to uh, rename it something. Maybe do what, call it Jason Chat's winter thing. I don't know. But that's me, so I think there's only one person left. So... I'm going to go. <sighs> So hopefully soon. And thank you, Fiona. Uh, so, John, what if you bought a headpiece? I'm going to look into it because it's the iPhone, isn't it? So it's got the lightning connection. But I'm going to look into it, see, maybe get a connection I can click to my th lapel. Lapel. Okay. Bye, everyone. See you next time.